Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. Come on in, let me show you an apartment tour. So when you walk in, you have my laundry area. And then to your right, I have this really cute Hollywood canvas, which thank you to my best friend Haley for getting this for me. And I have some random stuff over there, so don't really look at that. And then this little bar cart area. So this has a wine rack on the bottom and then opens up like this to be a bar area which if you don't know me, I was a bartender for years. So this comes in handy when it comes to having people over and just making drinks, having a lot of different bartending accessories here. Hand sanitizer too, of course. Next is the kitchen area, which you guys should recognize and know really well at this point and you're gonna continue to get to know it way, way better too. So I just have my regular fridge, I have a little wine cooler that I love, and then my appliances, some random oranges, uh, okay. My air fryer that looks like an alien pod, my dirty sink, my coffee maker, and then I have this little middle island here as well. So it has just some random drawers that I keep, like some of Jax's stuff. I do have a little sewing machine that I got right there, so stay tuned for that. Then to the left here, this is still really messy, so comment down below what I should do to organize this area a little bit better, but this is kind of just my workstation, so I have my chair, my laptop, some double monitors for work, I have my little phone stand, and then this is just where I keep my ring light and an extra living room fan. So then I have a little bed for Jax. That is actually Jax right there in that little blanket. That's how he sleeps all the time. And normally when I'm out on my desk working on my computer, he likes to lay under the blanket on the couch all day. I have some New York paintings. Don't know what I'm going to put on this side of the wall yet. So comment down below if you know what I should put there. I have my little glass table and rug. So this rug actually was a lot bigger online it seems than when I got it in person, but it did end up fitting the table perfectly because the table's a little bit smaller, so I decided to keep it. This is my entertainment stand. So I have my recording mic over there, so shout out to Bay for getting me that. Um, I have my switch hooked up and then my TV. So this I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with yet. Uh, this came with me from my Orlando apartment and it's just a little cube organizer. So not sure what I'm going to do with it quite yet. But I do have my little salt lamp over there which I love. This is kind of a little junk corner. So I don't have any ceiling lights. I only have ceiling fans. So I just have a small lamp back here and some random junk that I haven't put away yet. I have some little stuff for working out. I have this blanket for Jax right here just so he can have something comfortable to lay on until I get him a bed specifically for outside. I have my yoga mat because I do all of my workouts out here. And then I just have this little hanging chair. On this side of the wall, I have all of Jax's mountain of toys that don't even fit in the basket anymore. And then I have this mirror with this rug, which it is just a full length mirror. And now going into the bedroom, so ignore this U-Haul box because this is clothes that I'm taking to sell. Uh, so check my Poshmark for that. This is some random clothes also that I haven't decided where I'm going to put yet because my drawers are overflowing. This is my TV area, so overflowing drawers. And then I just have my little perfume area and jewelry area. That's my iPad. And then this little light up light and some other jewelry that I need to do a haul on, so stay tuned for the Fashion Nova haul. And then I have my TV right above it. That's my laundry basket, don't look at that. This is the way my windows look from my bedroom, so I have a nice view, natural sunlight. 
That's my oil diffuser. That is just my little whatever nightstand, so don't look at that. I have my little neon light that says, do what you love. Over here, this is a little bit messier, so whatever. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. This is more clothes in those drawers, a jewelry box, a scrapbook. These are a bunch of my newest clothes. I keep a lot of my new clothes, especially clothes that I still need to do hauls on, on my clothing rack. So a lot of that is from Fashion Nova. This is one of my favorite parts, the closet. So I have all of my clothes down here color coordinated. These are just my everyday regular clothes. This rack is all of my more so work and professional attire, which I don't really wear any of it anymore since now I work from home. I have shoes up here, I have shoes down through there, and I have shoes on a shoe rack down here, which is more so my sneaker collection. And then I have all of my purses hung on S-hooks, similar to what I use on my clothing rack. More random clothes, and this is some of my nicer dresses, and then up here I have all of my purses, and that is full of bikinis, which I have all the way up there because it's been really cold in LA, so I haven't been wearing a bikini much. Now going into the bathroom, so my apartment just makes one big circle, so all the doors are all never-end connecting. So I have two really big cabinets here, which have a bunch of shelving, and some random stuff. Oop, I did not mean to slam that. I do need to organize all of this, so if you want to see a bathroom organization video, let me know. Please ignore the mess that I have on my counter right now, but it's all makeup on my counter, so I have all of my makeup brushes right here. I have my makeup organizer, my everyday stuff right there some random stuff. This is the little basket that I use to keep all of my contour palettes, my highlight palettes, and my eyeshadow palettes. So I have some naked palettes, I have Anastasia, I have my Morphe palette. So I just keep all of my stuff in that. And then I have a little sunglasses rack right there. And then my shower curtain, which is all city themed. And then we are back out to the kitchen. And oh my god, I just got this candle from a candy store in Santa Monica. And when I tell you that this smells like a watermelon sour patch, it smells so good. I just don't even want to use it because I don't want it to run out. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this apartment tour. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And give this video a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.